Hello everyone, welcome to the Neon Guide. Right now we have her doing the early access testing and I, let's say, jump around a lot with her, theory crafted and practice a lot. And the goal of this guide is to show you guys how to use her abilities and just straight up jump into our game. So, you know, let's not beat around the bush and let's just go from left to right. So we're going to start with the every single skill. First skill is fast lane. It costs 300 credits. You only have one per round and it's the, well, let's say Phoenix walls, right? So they are actually very interesting. They uh, last around eight seconds. They have around 20 DPS because they do deal damage. As you can see here, they're going to destroy the bots, right? This one was damaged, I guess. Uh, and uh, they do cover vision if you go into the wall, which is is a big thing and it deals the damage we're going to show you also how much damage it deals because it's actually pretty significant now when you use it as you can see the damage goes around 20 per second uh so it deals over 170 damage or exactly 170 damage uh if someone is just standing in it which is pretty massive if you ask me because that means it's it's very similar um to what phoenix uh, wall does but you have two of those right and they are very very long as you can also see in a moment you are able to aim it up and down the same way that the phoenix phoenix wall does so if i aim higher right it can be shorter or longer if i aim even higher it's gonna be even shorter and if I aim lower, it's going to be shorter as well. Now, both of those walls are always the same length. But we have a bypass as well, because look what happens. If I aim like this, one wall ends at the when it hits the, the object, and the other one just stops where the other one stopped as well, right? But what I realized is that those walls... They can go through objects. They're not necessarily stopped by the objects. But the thing is, it's a projectile. Look. The wall does a mark on the wall, right where the crosser. And that's the point which has to travel. That means that you can go through objects, solid objects, with the wall if your crosser was not aiming at the wall. Like this. I'll be aiming here. And the, the fast lane is gonna go through the solid object which is the wall here as you can see right so this is a very interesting mechanic because it allows you to like fast peek through the wall create a tunnel that also goes through solid objects right without being uh, affected so uh the maximum length by the way which you have when you use this skill is at head level right not never i'm up or down unless you really want it to make it shorter because you want it but if you just aim at head level and do like stuff like this you're able to do the most let's say lengthy wall that goes also through solid objects so uh this is actually very useful unfortunately it does cost 300 which is a lot right but uh, it is very useful and especially specifically on maps like icebox and breeze uh, which are very open, uh, or on ascent in mid, I feel like this might be a very useful skill. Now, let's go to uh, Relay Bolt, which is the grenade, right? This is this is how it looks. And it's an insanely intricate tool, because it, it only stuns, right? But it always bounces once, and it stuns in both points, which is very interesting. And they cost 200, by the way, and have two of those. So if I bounce it here and here, right, like this, they stun both of those areas, as you can see, right? And also, it doesn't matter where the bolt hits. That means if I, an example, um, do it on the roof like this, oh, maybe... Okay, let's do it at a little bit different angles, so it doesn't hit me with the second time. Let's say like this. See? I'm stunned, even though I wasn't, like, let's say, affected by the second bounce, because it, it lands on the bottom. Look. See? So, essentially, you can aim over something, bounce it, and your opponents might be actually a little bit confused, because they will never see the grenade coming, and also, very important, those stunts are going through walls. Uh, let me show you an example. In a, let's say I'm going to stun here, and then the person will be affected behind it, like this. See? 
So essentially, you can... Let's say when you enter a site as an attacker, you're able to stun two places at once, which is very useful uh, in many, many spots, like on, on Ascent from B main, or you can stun both Market and Stairs, or Market and CT, uh, and it just allows for a lot of creativity, right? An example, I can also do practically a straight line if I encounter such a, such a scenario. Right? Like, you can do, like, a straight line, almost like a Aftershock, sorry, fourth line from, from Breach. So this is a very useful tool. That is actually something brilliantly designed. I really love it. It's very creative. And uh, it has, by the way, um, the speed of a charge-free um, arrow from um, from from uh, from Sova, right? So if, so if you're a Sova player, you will feel at home because it's essentially the same as a charge free with one bounce All right so maybe some lineups who knows right uh and uh, it doesn't deal any damage by the way right so it's just a stun as you can see just a stun and that's about it uh but you have two of those and it's super fast as well because look, look pay attention to how i'm um equipping the gun and i'm using the the grenade right let's say like this I'm able to just instantly almost shoot because it has quick equip. Right? It doesn't have the full animation of the equip. Pay attention. Like, this is how I equip the normal gun. And this is how I equip it after the after the grenade. So it's very similar to Phoenix uh, flashes, which fast equip you the weapon um, that a normal skill. Which is very interesting because... In general, this allows you to be more dynamic uh, with the agent, right? So I really like this a lot. Now, um, she has a fuel bar, which is also very important for, for the character. And I feel like this is actually something that is so distinctively different from any other agent. It kind of changes how you play the game entirely. So people typically, when you run, you just run with enough out because it's, you know, it's it's faster, right? Well, with this character, wrong. You're gonna run, you're gonna just, every time you can, you're gonna run with the skill out because it's 35% faster than running with a knife, right? You can bunny hop as well with it. And you have the fuel that allows you to just run like this. But what is the most interesting, it does regenerate. So you're able to do it over and over again, unless you, of course, if you have the fuel, but it does regenerate during the round, and that is actually insanely impactful. So when I will be doing small rotations between angles, I'm just gonna do this. And it has fast equip after I cancel the skill. Which is massive, right? Which is massive, because it allows you to make very, very weird peaks and faster rotations, different timings than any other agent in the game right now. So you essentially, in most cases with, the, with this agent, you never run with a knife out. You always run with this. I'm out of here. And you can cancel this by pressing mouse 1. If you press mouse 1 once, no. you go back to your gun and you'll be ready to shoot in no time. And that's the one usage of the uh, signature skill. But it also has the glide, right? The slide. So uh, the fuel bar right now is like bluish, yellowish, right? You have one slide, and this is why you also have those two markers here. You have one slide per round, and it does regenerate. The slide regenerates if you get two kills in a round. So how it looks... Something like this, right? You can, uh, let me just maybe show you with a corner uh, and fit ammo. Here we go. Go, go, go. And you have quick equip time after doing the slide as well, which allows you to do, do absolutely insane stuff. You don't have to, you just have to click, right click when you run, when you sprint, right? To do the slide. You don't have to hold it, you don't have to charge it. This is just a click. So I'm pressing the sprint, pressing the slide, and I'm just doing a wide Ferrari Tesla peak uh, that just will dismantle crosshair placement, which is absolutely insane. And if you go with a judge, which is, this is gonna be terrifying in game, I can already tell you. Look, 
you have absolutely no, uh, you know, uh, recoil because it's a shotgun. So you just do those massive swings with with a shotgun ready, and and, and everyone will be kind of like caught off guard unless they will just completely change the crosser placement. So I, I love this and I hate this at the same time. Right? It's it's a big thing. The slides with with Bucky, Judge, Shorty, uh, Stinger, um, Spectre, anything that has lower equip time or no recoil while moving, so shotguns or SMGs in case of equip time, right? will be a massive thing for the slide. Remember, if you use the slide, the fuel line will change its color to its normal, like, greenish turquoise, right? Whatever this is here. So this, this fuel line will change its color once you don't have the slide active. And it's going to go back to its color, to the bluish-yellowish um, fuel, fuel line, if you get another two kills. Now, let me uh, just turn off, turn off the infinite ammo. Uh... What is <laughs> this? Is actually kind of kind of nuts. So, the ultimate. When you pop the ultimate, right? Uh, you're activating this power up level, basically, right? When uh, it does use the fuel that you have, right? So when you uh, you can cancel this, by the way. It's just the duration of it. That's that's about it. And during this duration, you have forty bullets that also regenerate. Right, we're going to talk about a little bit about the damage in a moment. So, this is the duration of the ult. But, there's a bit of changes. If you kill a bot, you get 25, um, 25 fuel recharge. If you kill a player, right? So, you get 25 of the fuel, which is, uh, from what I have seen, um, 25 of the fuel is essentially 12 seconds right that will be my now this is way fast sorry of the, of the normal run will be that in on a on an ultimate this is gonna be like what five seconds four seconds something like this right um and and so you get you get the recharge on every recharge of 25 fuel on every kill and um the ammo as you can see it doesn't go up when you kill someone but it will go up after you stop shooting. But if you will deplete the ammo, then it burns you for a moment and you have to wait because you're not able to just spam it mindlessly all the time. Alright, so... As you can see, that's about it. But now, the most important part of the ultimate, the damage. Alright, so each spark deals 22 damage, essentially. Right? This is what you deal. It doesn't matter what you hit. It might be a leg, it's 22. It's a, it's a torso, it's 22. It's a head, it's 22. So what you need is 7 hits to kill someone. And 7 hits is ridiculously fast. Look at this DPS. This is 6. 132 damage, right? This is 8. This is lethal. And you can also slide, of course. While doing this ultimate, let me charge my fuel. I can slide, and I can be fully accurate while sliding, and I can shoot while running all the time. This is the most ridiculous thing. So, look at this. This is actually ridiculous. When you, when you have the ult on, right? And I sprint. I can just shoot all the time. Whenever I activate the sprint, it's it's just insanely powerful. Still, you have only one slide. You have only one slide. But what is very important is that if you don't have your ult active, right? So you're just running around the game. Uh, you use your sprint, the signature ability. You use your slide, but you have your ult active. Then by pressing the ult you recharge your slide. You don't need to get those two kills, which is also very big, because you can use two, two slides, essentially, in the same round, even if you didn't kill anyone, right? Which makes a massive difference. Um, and, uh, of course, on the ult, uh, you can only use the slide once, right? In normal game, but if you if you get two kills during the ult, then you get another slide, which is, which is absolutely insane. But there's also... Um, this is where it's less powerful than the than the knives from um, from Jet, 
basically you have full accuracy while running right there's there's no recoil if you stay on the ground but once you jump up you, you almost cannot hit anything as you can see look let's make a let's make a comparison so when you're when you're when you're standing still you can you're fully accurate All right let me recharge okay you're fully accurate when you're standing you can draw a dick if you want, you know? But if you're gonna jump around like this, as I can see, it's not reliable. But the thing is that you can do this still close range and be reliable. So let's say I'm peeking at close angle that I know someone might be around, right? I'm just doing this. And I'm ridiculously, like, fast and accurate anyway, because it's close range. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if if there's a spread, because it just still deals random damage. And there's so many bullets, it's 40 bullets, that I have a very high chance that I'm gonna kill you anyway. While jumping through a corner with completely different head level than anything, any character in the game, unless you're a jet. Uh, and... and just catch you off guard, right? So that's that, that is pretty strong, but it has to be very close range. Like this, you're never gonna hit anything. So don't worry about running and jumping like this. It's not reliable. Anything that is not insane close range like this is not gonna be reliable. But um, yeah, I mean, character is pretty strong. Not gonna lie. But I I don't think it's she's stronger than Jet. She's different. She's not as self-reliable as Jet. Nothing is more powerful than dashing into a side onto your own smoke. It's just so self-reliable as a Jet. And the ultimate from Jet, I feel like, is still more powerful than this ultimate. Because this ultimate has a duration. And even though it can refresh, it's not as OP as Jet ult. And, and um... I feel like this is a more balanced Jet, essentially. You know, I wouldn't mind having this character instead of Jet at all. But uh, she's she's going to be very exciting to play. Um, and, and I have some small fears that, you know, the sliding shotgun uh, peaks, uh, the sliding Tesla shotgun peak might be a little bit much. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and yeah, that's about it, I think. See you on the server and hope you enjoy Neon.